What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So guys, today we are checking out Cross the Line. This week we have four times money and also four times RP on this adversary mode. It's the first time that we see something like this in GTA Online. So definitely worth checking out. So first of all, if you want to launch it, go to Options, Online, Quick Join or Jobs. Then Play Job, Rockstar Created, Adversary Mode and then normally you should see it immediately. Seven different cross the lines, all of them exactly the same. The only difference that you have between them is the map. So in cross the line, you're always playing in two teams. And I have to say the objective of this game mode is pretty simple. The only thing that you have to do is get your entire team across the line of the enemy team. And then you win the round. So at the bottom right, you can see that you have all the players. You have all the names and next to their names, you have a distance. This distance is basically how far you are from the enemy line. So the enemy line is always the red line. If you get your entire team across this red line at the same time, of course, without dying, then you win the round. So when you do cross the line, you will see that next to your name, you will have a green check. This obviously means that you cross the line. So then all you have to do is simply wait for your team members to also cross the line. And when your entire team has a green check next to their name, then you win the round. When you have a red cross, by the way, it just means that you died. But no worries, you have infinite lives in this game mode, so you can always just respawn. So when you manage to get your entire team across the line, the payment for this game mode this week with the four times is normally 11k. Now, I know it doesn't seem a lot, but I have to be honest, most of the time these rounds are very short. So you will get like 11k for a one minute round or maybe one minute and 30 seconds. Over here, it was four rounds that we won. In total, it took me like six minutes and then we got a payment of 55k, which is actually pretty decent for a adversary mode. So then a couple of things that you guys should also know about this game mode. You cannot use your own weapons, so only these on the screen. You can also pick up some weapons from the ground, but normally they are in a very difficult position. So for example, over here, there was a assault shotgun, which is very good, obviously, but it's in the middle of the map. And it's not that easy to get there. Normally one round is always 5 minutes. If these 5 minutes end, then you will have a sudden death. Now for the sudden death, you have two options. It's either a last team standing, so simply kill the entire enemy team and then you win. Or there is also an option which is first to cross the line. And if you have this, it's basically the team with the first person to cross the line of the enemy team. They will win. If you want to modify the sudden death, the host has to do it in the game menu. So you can see the bottom left option, sudden death. It's either first over the line or last team standing. If you do win a sudden death, you will have the longest round possible. And just like always in adversary modes, the longer the round, the higher the payment. The payment for a last team standing is 32k with the four times cash. So this is kind of the maximum that you can get out of this game mode. So that's 32k for 5 minutes. Then one more thing that's also important. When you cross the line, you actually have to cross the line that you see on the map. So you can't just cross anywhere you want. Because sometimes you will also just be out of area. You actually have to physically cross the red line that you see in game. And then it counts. So guys, that's basically it. In my opinion, very simple but also fun game mode. Especially if you can play it with some friends. Uh, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's the first time that we have quadruple cash or quadruple money. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this game mode. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description. And peace out, you guys.